Everyday Heroes. Brought to you by Hendrick Auto Group. Life can be filled with knockouts, low blows that could put you on the ropes, but local boxing legend Al Hollywood Meggett knows how to stick and move, and he always manages to counterpunch. He's a beloved community champion in and out of the ring. He's our everyday hero. Al Hollywood Meggett has been calling the shots here at the Charleston Boxing Club for 34 years. When the round ends, you put gloves on these guys. They're going to do one round of this, and then we'll probably get them down to the bag. Born in Harlem, New York, the Navy brought him to the South for the first time. I want you in the black bag. All right, let's switch up. All right, y'all guys, let's switch up. Al Hollywood opened this boxing gym in Charleston back in 1983. Because my, my feelings about Charleston was, Somebody had to be here to teach these kids boxing. See, when you travel to the world and you see a place and well, my love for boxing is not happening, I had to make it happen. It took me four years to get this program, to get this gym. Because I started back in 1979. But it's okay. I don't mind them four years. It was hard, but it was worth it. Mr. Hollywood admits he had some challenges at first. It, it took a while for them to, to well, who is this guy Hollywood? Who was this guy? Who is this guy? It took a while for me to show them who I was. Because I, I, I was trying to tell them all the time, you know? But it took time and finally they realized I was the man. And I started, <laughs> I started doing it, you know? Then he brought the big names to Charleston. And had everyone to come to this city of Charleston You'd be surprised. Who did you have come? I had, I had Muhammad Ali. I had Joe Frazier. I had uh, uh, Lou Duva. I had um, Angelo Dundee. I had Floyd Patterson. I had uh, uh, a lot of, lot of celebrities, big time, come to Charleston. They want to know what I'm doing in this city. The purpose? Love is what it's all about. He wanted to bring something positive to young people in the area. I've been, I've been here for all these years, and, and all I got was good results from these kids and, and many, many success stories. I have, but these kids are here because of them, their mothers, their fathers, their grandmothers. Bring me their kids, and they, and they grow up, and then they turn around and say, well, you their, you their father. They call me the daddy. I say, wow. I want to know why they do that, because I did the job, you know, but it's beautiful. You know? Mr. Hollywood has trained generations of boxers, including Johnny Campbell's father. Oh, he's been like a, um, a grandfather, really. Like, uh, he helped me with life lessons. 18-year-old Terrence Black wants to be a professional boxer one day. You know, he kept me out of a lot of stuff. I wasn't running with a really good crew back then, so, you know, I didn't see a lot of love back then, so, but showed me, showed me how to love. And the way he's helped me, he's helped me so much, you know, he changed my life around. and. You know, he kind of, in a way, he kind of saved me, you know. And I just want to, I just want to give that back to him. I want to repay him for that. And there is always showmanship in Hollywood. Now you got it. That's, I like that. We talk about boxing. The next word come out your mouth is Hollywood. People want to be around him because his energy is just that gravitas. When it came to lung cancer, Al Hollywood took the gloves off and won that fight. About time, everybody, time. Now, despite health challenges, he continues to roll with the punches, so never count him out. But it's a shame, man. I've been here 34 years in this building. Wow. That's a long time. And I'm still here. And I'm still doing some more work. Because I got some more youngsters I got to work on. Mr. Al Hollywood Meggett continues to bob and weave and will never throw in the towel. If it hadn't been for God, I wouldn't be here today. I'm 86 years old, I'm still doing it. And I love it. You see, I was told the two things that my dad told me, the two things I'd like you to do, Mr. Hollywood. I said, what is that, Doc? He said, stay with this oxygen program, number one, and continue training your boxing. I said, well, that's all I want to do. I said, that's it. So I'm happy, so I'm happy, you know. 
A series of books on Mr. Al Hollywood Meggett's amazing life and contributions to the community will be released in a few weeks. You can pre-order the three book series beginning January 1st. There is also a documentary in the works. For more information, head to our website, countonto.com.